What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and I've got for you a video review of Beacon Pines on Nintendo Switch. Beacon Pines is also available on PC, Game Pass with Xbox, and of course the Nintendo Switch. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Listen, I've played a lot of indie games in 2022 so far, and this one is right near the top. You are going to play as Luca Van Horn, a young child who has lost his mother or lost his father. His mother is missing. He's being taken care of by his gran. And he, along with his friend Rolo and brand new friend Beck, are going to kind of unravel a mystery happening in Beacon Pines. And honestly, that's all the context I'm going to give you because I think the story can't be spoiled because that is such a big part of the experience. How you play the game the things you uncover, the shocking revelations you're going to see throughout, that's why you play. And it is so, so, so well done. What you're going to do is as you're playing, you're going to unlock charms. And those charms might be things like friendship or anger or fights or, you know, things like that. And then at certain points in the story, there's going to be things called turning points. And at a turning point, you're going to get the option to use some of those words to dictate how the story is going to go. There are times where you don't have options. You only have one charm and therefore you have to use that charm and that might end in disaster for you and your game ends or the story quote unquote ends, at which point you go back to this, this tree that has the arc of the story and you can go back to any turning point that you've previously experienced and change your answer, especially since as you play more, you'll earn more charms. Then you can take those charms, go back to an earlier portion of the game, plop in a different charm that will make you do a different action that will make the story change in in like crazy ways. Like it won't even be a parallel to what you experienced before. It'll be a totally different experience. I'll give you one option. There's a part in the story where you are visiting your friend's house and as you leave, you have dinner. And as you leave, you can either say, oh, the storm, the sky looks clear or you can say the, the sky looks rumbling. If you say it's clear, you're going to get a totally different story than if you say it's rumbling. If you say it's rumbling, he's going to go back inside the house because it's raining and he can't go to where he needed to go. But if it's clear, he can go where he was supposed to go. It's so interesting and the story varies so much and I love that. I love that. And going back and redoing chapters sounds like a really bad mechanic. Sounds like you're going to have to redo things and it's not fun, but it really, really is because you get insights into characters that you might not get if you don't do specific things. So you might find out that someone's bad because you got a bad ending. But when you rewind, Luca in the story doesn't know that they're bad, but you as the player and kind of as the narrator of the experience, you know it's bad or they're bad. And it makes it just so much fun to just kind of unravel what's going on in your own head, still not knowing what's coming up in the game. On top of like a fantastic narrative journey, the voice acting of the, of the narrator is great. Um, she pops up for the reading the chapters, the beginning of the chapters, and she'll pop up for uh, anything that's going to be narrated that isn't spoken by a character. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Oh, okay, that's nothing. The characters are not voiced. It would have been nice to see that done. But again, it's not a big deal that they're not voiced. Um, and the scenery, the, the art is just gorgeous. They, they did such a good job with this game. How you interact with the world is, is simplistic, but yet fun. This is a narrative adventure at heart, but a fantastic narrative adventure. And one that if you are looking for something a little bit different, I think... Beacon Pines is the game for you. On Nintendo Switch, I did not uh, have any kind of issues with frame rate or things like that. Um, the game never locked up on me, never crashed. Everything was perfectly smooth. I never had something not work. 
Uh, there were a few times where I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do, but it only took a little bit of time and a little bit of trial and error and you figure out, oh, I'm supposed to do this next. There's also a lot of optional stuff within the game. You don't need to talk to all the characters, but if you spend the time talking to those characters, you're going to learn so much more about the town of Beacon Falls and the people that inhabit it and the things that are important to them. Just honestly, guys, from top to bottom, a wooden experience. If you're looking for something a little bit different, inexpensive, five to seven hours, Beacon Pines is the game for you. Solid experience. Highly recommend it. It comes with my seal of approval.